What the what? It's a Stranger Than Fan Fiction episode, which just chef Tim and Jason Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, so we realized um, we haven't done one for a while, and, and Chef Tim was like, hey, you want to do Stranger Than Fan Fiction? I was like, hell yeah, I do. Yeah, brought over the SNES classic. Yeah, so we're going to play Donkey Kong Country um, and find this terrible piece of fan fiction uh, I found on the internet called King K. Rules Revenge. Uh, this is by Moz for Paws 19 uh, <laughs> produced uh, November 18th, 2012. Um, so, uh, let's, uh, let's dig right into this. Chapter 1. Where is she now? On the island of Congo Bongo, everything was at its peaceful time. The birds flying in the sky as the cool breeze blew through the banana trees. Nothing was getting in the way at all. Two months had passed after the battle, and the Kongs were doing their usual thing, but they were still in the grieving state when they had lost their friend, Tiny Kong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> open up on a real downer. <laughs> in in Ti Tiny Kong's hut, it was empty without her. Nothing in there was missing or tampered with at all. Okay. Dog Dixie Kong had the urge to take a trip down to her little sister's hut. When she got there, Dixie Kong thought she heard Tiny laughing. It brought a smile to her face, and she climbed up quickly. She opened the door and saw Tiny Kong standing there with her arms out ready for a hug. Dixie Kong ran to her and hugged her. The moment had went into a downfall when Tiny's image disappeared right before her very eyes. It wasn't really Tiny Kong. It was just a thought. <laughs> That's a very, very vivid thought. <laughs> One might call that a hallucination. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it was just a thought. Dixie Kong's happy moment went to a depressed moment. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a little pairing of these two. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Dixie Kong saw a picture of Tiny and herself playing video games together. Her heart was broken just to see a picture of her sister. It even caused her to go outside to Tiny's favorite tree and cry there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Tiny, I miss you. I miss you so much. I wish you could be here with me forever. I wish you could come back here with me and the others. They miss you, too. But I miss you more. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to clear it up. <laughs> just said they were the sisters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dixie cried. Diddy Kong was walking past Tiny's hut, and he happened to notice Dixie Kong standing there crying. He walked up to her and placed his hand on her shoulder. Dixie jumped a little and quickly wiped the tears away. Diddy, um, you scared me, Dixie said to him. I'm sorry, Dixie. I heard you crying, so I came by to see if you were okay, Diddy responded. Dixie Kong shook her head. It's not okay, Diddy. It's not okay. <laughs> when I'm not able to see your face again. <laughs> Dixie cried softly. He rubbed her hand in Tiny's picture that she put there as a funeral gift. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Dixie Kong couldn't help but to burst out in tears. Was Wait, wasn't she already crying? I, yeah, she's crying the whole time. <laughs> Did, Diddy Kong hate, hated seeing his girlfriend this sad because it makes him sad too. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> uh, I lost my place. <laughs> okay, he, he wrapped his arms gently around her and told her, It's all right. I know you miss her. I miss her too. But she misses him more, her more. <laughs> Diddy's tears rolled down his cheek and they both cried for a while. At the dark, dreary place that Tiny's death took place, the canyons, King K. Rool had started anew. An anew? anew? It, it just, the sentence just ends. Oh, like, anew, like, anew? Yes. But they, okay. He, they spelt it A, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Two separate. It, it, like, it was, yeah. Yeah. You get it. Uh, his secret lair was officially deep into the canyons, underneath the Grey Mountains. His minions were busy working on something he created to kill Donkey Kong, and his friends said he couldn't do it to one of them. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> K. Rule walks through the halls with his two main workers, Clump and Crusha. Clump's appearance changed. He, he, he was no longer fat like K. Rule. He was more bark, bulky and more smarter. So was Crusha. <laughs> You're just like shoehorning everyone into this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like, I love, love. He's just like he was totally different. This guy was different too. Oh yeah, and this guy. <laughs> <laughs> How is our prisoner? K. Rule asked. Well, sir, we managed to get the prisoner stable, but the prisoner's too hard to control. Clump answered. Nothing's ever too hard for us to control, General Clump. Remember that machine made us smarter and more powerful. Oh, okay. Foreshadowing. We can overcome anything, even if it's one of those puny apes, K. Rule responded to Clump. For her, she would no longer become them. She's one of us now, and I expect her to be treated that way. Is that clear? K. Rule asked. Clump and Crusha both nodded their heads to the king. One of the Kremlin soldiers what one of the Kremlin soldiers and pushed a blue button for the dungeon door to open. Okay. <laughs> Clump ordered two of his troops to assist K. Rule as he goes in to talk with his prisoner he captured. <laughs> okay, so this prisoner is tiny? I think so. Okay, and they've changed her into something? I who knows. I love that like talk with his prisoner he captured. Like Yeah. The, doesn't prisoner mean you captured something? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like an oxy moron. <laughs> Um, <laughs> seems like you're doing remarkably done, well. Done. Yeah, my little princess. The prisoner's face is showing in the light. <laughs> I love that they got this cinematic, <laughs> this cinematic view. It was Tiny Kong who was held captive. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Pretty sure you all knew that. <laughs> I guess they break the fourth wall. I totally. Author's note. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, King K. Rule walked around her, talking to her to calm her down. She couldn't do anything while she was chained up, but she had her ways. It seems that the machine had the effect on you too, A. Eh? K. Rule questioned her. Get away from me, she screamed at him. Oh, so now you want to talk? K. Rule said. He grabbed her long blonde hair and she whimpered. I don't know. I don't like where this is going. Yeah. Maybe you want to think twice before you continue to shout at me like I'm an idiot. You are mine now, and there's nothing you can do to stop me from having you. Oh dear. It's getting a little rape, you guys. Yeah. Well, and like, isn't she like she's the tiniest of the Kongs? Well, and so she's like a teeny. Like, isn't she like a tween? Tiny's the one with the pigtails, pigtails right? right? Yeah. Donkey Kong 64? Yeah. Yeah, she she's looks like, like she's fucking 12. She she looks smaller than that. Fuck. Um, and... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> things are now no longer PG, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Content disclaimer. <laughs> Stop here. If, uh, you can't handle a little uh, darkness. Yeah. In story. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um, after what you put me through, this is how you will repay me. Do you this understand? Is, this is what we're going to be seeing this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, listen to this. After what, what you have put me through, this is how you will repay me. Do you understand, Tiny Kong? Tiny Kong did not want to be harmed by him. His deep voice put her to a calming halt. What? Her eyes turned to original color? When were they not her original color? I, I don't know. <laughs> Suddenly he just calms her down. Yeah, and she lit down her guard as the king would want her to do. That's better, K. Rule said to Tiny, who was fearing for her life. Well, if you're fearing for your life, how are you calm? Is she, like, mind-controlled at this point already or I something? I don't know. Now that you know who's boss, maybe I'll let you go, but that doesn't necessarily mean back to those air-headed apes. You're the one that's air-headed, King K. Rule. When my friends find out that I'm not dead, they'll be coming for me and killing you instead. Whoa. Tiny Kong yelled. K. Rule growled loudly and slashed Tiny across her face. The force was so strong that the chains broke and she slid to the other side of the dungeon wall. K. Rule ran on all fours, went, be oh. went behind her, and grabbed one of her breasts. <laughs> and <laughs> she doesn't even have fucking breasts. Um, and squeezed like that. with his major sharp claws going in. T 
Tiny Kong screamed with all their might, but the only creatures that could that can hear her <laughs> were the king's henchmen. Oh my god. God, this is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> you you uh, wait until you hear this. With a mouse like that, sweetheart, you wouldn't be able to live under my consent. I would have to kill you on the spot. Something I should have done two months ago, but I was gracious enough to let you live. Plus, you promised me that you'll become one of us if I don't hurt your stupid monkey friends. And yet, it seems like that you are trying to break this deal. Once you are in, you can never get out. It's like a gang. <laughs> K. Roll explained. He squeezed tighter, and Tiny Kong was screaming for her life. Finally, he dropped her and went to the dungeon door to leave. The door was opened by one of his troops, and he walked out with his troops that were assisting him. Clump and Crusha came back, worried about King K. Roll. Wait, why are they worried about him? Are you okay, sir? You're not hurt, are you? Crusha asked worryingly. Not to worry about me, you two. It's her that you both need to worry about. It seems that she, too, was affected by my old doomsday machine. All right. However, it doesn't last very long for someone like her, and it will just be a matter of time before she tries to escape from here, he said. So what do you want us to do, your highness? Clump asked in manner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I have the rest of that blue matter that I use to make someone evil. <laughs> it's okay. like a so, blue, blue kryptonite. So... It's a machine or yes. magic or just blue matter? <clears throat> like um... it's yeah, a doomsday machine that okay. failed, I guess. But blue matter makes someone evil. I don't. I need you to make an, into an injection for her. That way, she'll stay evil for all eternity, and she won't be able to fight it at all. I want it done by tonight. You requested. <laughs> it's very, very polite of him. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, your majesty, as you wish, they both said to their kin. In the dungeon where she was held captive, Tiny had her back against the cold walls. She felt blood drip from her the side of her face, and she felt a slight pain on her breasts. Oh my god, her breasts. <laughs> oh my god. Tiny lifted up her top. Oh, I and, <laughs> and saw claw marks on it. Tiny Kong began to cry in pain and feel very sad. <laughs> Death, that violated. Yeah. <laughs> I love like it, it's just this like juxtaposition of like <clears throat> like you know Fifty Shades and then like something a five year old wrote. Like, yeah. Tiny Kong felt very sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so so bizarre. Oh my god. Well, what do you think? One one more chapter. Let's do it. All right.